So Zen on ETH is currently down 16%, but fear no more because Phoenix is here to burn more Zen on ETH. So if you want to see that one cent Zen, you're going to want to stay tuned, like and subscribe. Let's get right onto this Zen content. Yes, Phoenix is going to be live tomorrow on Zen on ETH and they are planning to burn a ton load of zen guys shout out to all the zen platforms the zen ecosystem itself the programs on zen the projects on zen that are currently burning a ton load of zen they deserve all the praises shout out to all of them man and phoenix is one of them if you look at the burns um db zen is doing a tremendous amount of work right now burning a lot of the zen supply on eth if you look at it we are at 11.6 trillion supply and db zen has already burned 3 trillion out of that 11.6 trillion and zen fts are also doing their work burning 1.5 trillion of it now if you look at the zen burn dashboard right what Phoenix is gonna do, it could be epic for Zen on ETH, bro. Just put it that way, because if you look at what they did in Polygon, that is absolutely impressive. Phoenix launched on Matic literally a week and a half ago, bro. 12% of the supply, they wiped it out within a week and a half. So imagine the amount of damage they're gonna do to Zen on ETH. Now, the only downside that I see in this, right, is the fact that ethereum gas fees could be absolutely high bro and um that could be problematic for phoenix on eth but if people could bypass that if the grades grades are lower at the time of eth um phoenix launching tomorrow on the weekend which i believe was it was a well mapped out plan because you know the eth gas fees always go lower on the weekends if you want to mint that's the plan mint on weekends now that could be really really good for joe blau i'm going to be covering the phoenix zen uh on eth launch live and uh you know it's gonna be good man it's gonna be dope and um once they go live i will be covering them pretty much so yes as you can see on polygon db zen has burned 13.76 percent of the supply which is almost 14 percent of the supply right uh by zen fts and db zen has burnt 17 percent of the supplies that is almost 20 percent of the supply of zen on Matic, and that's only there's only like 33 trillion or something to that nature left phoenix came in within just a few days they burnt 12 percent of the supply now imagine more and more protocols coming into eth that's where i'm getting at which is that's gonna be epic bro if you look at the supply of um zen on eth right which is currently you know 71 percent that is left now 19 percent has already been burned by db zen almost 20 percent and then zen fts has got the other nine percent there isn't any other protocols really like that after that it's a wrap but if phoenix comes imagine they shave off another 10 percent or you know and whatnot and then you got zen doge which is one of the most deflationary you know uh, meme coins zen doge come and burns a tremendous amount you read the zen doge white paper bro i keep forgetting to make a zen doge video 15 trillion they planning to burn zen on eth and there's only 11.6 trillion to go there is no 15 trillion we haven't minted 15 trillion yet and this is how much zen doge is planning to burn so my guess is that they're going to be adding more and more projects to shave off this supply and as we're going to go lower you're going to see then these prices keep going up and up and up and then it will matter now people would understand the game plan i think the end goal here for these projects is to burn enough zen on eth to make a statement so that people can pay attention to the other zens on the other change now because think about it their end goal is to pretty much bring down the xenon eth circulating supply all the way down to one trillion imagine that 
Imagine a Xenon ETH supply that has been brought down from 12 trillion to 11.6 to 10 to 9 to 8, all the way down to 1 trillion because of protocols being built on top of it and the burn happening live. So that means which are 1 trillion tokens now left, right? Zen happened to climb up to a market cap of just $1 billion, which is possible. This can easily be achieved in a bull market. You divide that 1 billion market cap divided by the circulating supply at the time, which would be around 1 trillion Zen. You're looking at a 0 0.001 Zen price. So if you just happen to hold 1 billion, this is a million dollars. If you happen to hold just 500 million, that's $500,000. Wouldn't you like to make this much in a bull market? Sometimes in 2025, this is the power of Zen crypto. People don't do these maths to understand that things like that could happen. I'm not even, you know, counting in like uh, the, the X1 chain coming in, for example, the amount of hit and help it would do in terms of burning Zen. The end all be all where all Zen would be either whether it is at a 10 to 1 ratio or at a 1 to 1 ratio would be allocated towards the x1 chain and it would all be burnt so which means zen on all chains would be would hold some value pretty much at some point in the near future this is a game plan that is absolutely epic once the x1 chain gets here we're gonna have our own blockchain guys come on this it doesn't get more bullish than that bro so Pay attention to the Zen ecosystem. What are they doing? What is coming and how much is being burnt? Once you keep looking at this chart going down, hey, soon as they start taking some of these tokens out of circulation by, by means of burning and burning. And you, you know DB's NFTs is around the corner, right? I'm going to talk about that one soon in a video to explain to people what is coming because people don't get it yet. Somebody's always asking me, you know, NFTs, there's a lot of them, especially the collector's Zen NFTs, they could uh, impact the price of Zen in the near future once people start claiming them. But th what they're not realizing is, shout out to Raz, he's way ahead of time. So he's planning to get them to, you know, burn their uh, Zen NFTs to get a higher DB's NFTs, which would be super rare and va valuable, you know, rareables and collectibles and all that kinds of stuff. The mechanics there are crazy. You got to study it. And I will be making a video about that one as well. Uh, there's a lot of mechanics in the background, a lot of projects coming into the Zen ecosystem, and they are all excited to help burn more Zen. And this is the power of Zen crypto. Now, let's talk post chain. Yes, post chain is about to come, hopefully within the next seven days. Hopefully, hey, Richard, hopefully this won't be another mid May. Shout out to all the hexagons and also, especially Smark, man. Smark, OG hexagon. You already know he's excited, he's pumped up. You know, he he one of them people that truly deserve this, man. These people have been waiting for this for two years or less, you know. Uh, it was painful, but you know, hey, it's getting closer and closer. And even if it doesn't launch in seven days, it will eventually launch in the middle of this. We're in the middle of the year anyway. There's no way that, you know, this could be pushed and delayed further and further again. Um, uh, my only wish is that Richard didn't try to fork Ethereum or something like this. It's one of the slowest chains, bro. I think he switched it later on to Go Language or Binance Smart Chain or something to that nature. But him importing all the tokens from Ethereum to Post Chain, that could be problematic because if you're valuing one to one, then your tokens on ETH will always be more valuable than your tokens on Post Chain, whether or not, you know, exchanges would accept this you know you have to take into account exchanges and liquidity as well whether or not liquidity would come because if liquidity doesn't come into post chain then you only have one person to really pump your bags on post chain and that's richard because he is the largest sacrificer when it comes to post chain and also post x i'm excited about post x because come on you're gonna have a competing dex to uniswap and Pancake swap. Those are the two largest DEXs in crypto. That is too centralizable. We need more powerful DEXs. And Richard, 
I think he's got the game plan to do that. So if he does that, those could be your bets. Pulse X for a competing Dex during the upcoming bow cycle because he's good come on this guy is sitting on billions of dollars he can pump hex easily he can pump pulse chain easily he can easily pump pulse x now those two i don't think they're gonna 10,000 x like hex did but they can give you a few hundred x's so keep keep in mind to them now don't fomo now once pulse chain launches and pulse x you rush in there trying to buy coins and whatnot usually these type of things they're going to be followed by a huge sell the news event because there are a lot of disgruntled and angry um post chain and post x sacrifices so they want to a lot of them going to want their money back straight away so this might not give you the impact that hex had because remember hex launched as a finished perfect flawless product like he worked on it he launched it and it became pretty much a cd contract where it's it's like pretty much like a bank it runs flawless book but the hex's only problem is it's built on eth and eth has high gas fees and eth has its problems people have been crying to richard crying to richard for two years hey richard man we're sick of these eth fees he said all right i'm gonna build you a chain that is better than ethereum and i'm gonna put a dex on top of that and then after that i think he's thinking about bringing a uh, his own wallet like a metamask competing wallet or something to, that would be dope too you know richard is on point man he's he, he does his thing too it's not just about jack levin now long time before jack there was richard as well i'm just saying entities like that like richard hart and the likes of jack levin and that pay attention to what they're doing man because they're builders and uh like i always say man like to all hexagons as well hex zen come on you hold if you hold both, if one goes to zero, the other one would make you money. There's no way you're going to go uh, wrong holding both because it's just the art of diverse, being diversified and staying diversified in both ecosystem to see where that takes you. Because at the end of the day, you're an investor, bro. That's why I'm not really fighting anybody about which one is better, whether it's a hex, I don't care about none of that stuff. Which one is going to pump my bags higher? that's why i'm invested in both i'm dcaing currently into hex weekly too i've never dca'd into hex weekly but i'm weekly by betting on hex on eth not hex on post chain because i don't know what the liquidity is going to happen and whether or not that will 10,000 x which i highly doubt but hex on eth people are sleeping on it why because it could easily get to two dollars two three four even five dollars next bull cycle and people don't realize at these lows, if it does another 10,000 X jump from here, I think it's going to put you right around six to seven dollar mark. And that is absolutely phenomenal, which means if you hold just a hundred thousand or more of these hex tokens on ETH, you're going to be set for life because you don't even have to sell at that point. You might just have to stake it and earn your 40 percent yield or something per year or something to that nature. So doing a five, five, five stake might be a good idea because 15 years from now hex could be worth way more than what it is worth right now and um you could get to a point where you don't even have to sell your hex that's why this project is also powerful because you, if you get to that level you're just taking it to pretty much live on your yearly yield and then you have uh smart was breaking down the hex ecosystem to me where he was talking about hedron and icosa and all these other projects side projects that are also helping the hex ecosystem on eth so yeah pay attention to hex as well with that being said this was just a short one about zen on eth and phoenix going live saturday the 13th of may tomorrow on ethereum so with that being said, like up the video, share it, subscribe for some crypto content. I have been Mr. Nakamoto Crypto and I'm out.